internet radio station. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. Jonathan is a student who depends on his Cardinal Visa credit card. This is uh, my Visa card. I got it from Cardinal Credit Union with Houston's help. Cardinal loan manager Justice Adama Vicious. There's no annual cost. There's no maintenance fees. There's no balance transfer fee. I went to other banks and they didn't look at me the way he did and give me a chance. He asked me what I'm doing in life, what I'm going to school for. We are helping people, not judging them. Cardinal Credit Union, everything to brighten your financial future. Just call Cardinal at 440-266-2200. Stop in a branch or apply online at cardinalcu.com. Cardinal President Christine Blake. Listening to your story, saving you money, anyone can join. Cardinal. People helping people. Cardinal is open to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Lake Cuyahoga, Geauga, Ashtabula, Portage, Summit, Mahoning, Trumbull, or Columbiana counties. This institution is not federally insured. Deposits are insured by American Share Insurance up to $250,000 per account. Loans subject to credit approval. Callan needed a car loan, and she turned to Cardinal Credit Union. Well, I came to Cardinal and talked to Dietrich about getting a car loan, and he explained everything about the financing step by step, so I understood it. Being a member of the credit union already, Callan knew that we offered the lowest rates possible. What I like best about Cardinal is the money that I saved and the money that I'm going to save what she said. For new or used auto loans, it's easy. Just call Cardinal at 440-266-2200. Stop in a branch or apply online at cardinalcu.com. Cardinal President Christine Blake. Listening to your story, saving you money, anyone can join. Cardinal. People helping people. Cardinal is open to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Lake Cuyahoga, Geauga, Ashtabula, Portage, Summit, Mahoning, Trumbull, or Columbiana counties. This institution is not federally insured. Deposits are insured by American Share Insurance up to $250,000 per account. Loans subject to credit approval. Cardinal Credit Union. People helping people. And a wall stuff. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh God. Right. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to spring 2019. Welcome to Jax's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's the J and K show, it and is. it is my birthday. This thing. is our first show of the semester. We we are going to be uh, on Wednesdays two to three now instead mm-hmm. of five to six, like it was last semester. So, yeah. but so now more people might actually hear what we're saying wow which is kind of scary because last time i would kind of like just do stuff because i figured no one was really hearing it because right. <laughs> around six is when everyone's not at breakers so <laughs> we're like always just talking and just seeing i mean there's obviously people are walking by all the time but different now because mm. people are actually like oh i'm gonna go eat something so last semester kenzie did a a lot of singing. I did. And we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Pardon my stutter there. Yeah, we'll see. Um, it's a bit more you, you intimidating sing, now. You can sing me happy birthday if you want. I can't, you can't sing happy birthday in a nice way. And I, well, I can't unless I'm like with a choir because I know how that goes. <laughs> but like singing happy birthday nicely, I only know like singing it like an obnoxious person like I mean, on birthdays where you're like cha 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 <laughs> in between like that's all i know right or a choir version of it so i get you so i wouldn't bet on that ha- i'll sing it later you sing okay you know <laughs> we're not on yeah, the radio right <laughs> when we're at home Ooh, i i keep for, i've blanked on everything today and my friend was texting me earlier when i was in class asking like she wow, wanted to hang out no, it was before <laughs> yeah. class. Yeah. I actually haven't used my phone in any class yet. Usually, like, like last in the middle of class. Yeah, you mean? like yeah. last semester, I wasn't great about that. This semester, <laughs> so far, I mean, I know it's the third it's, day, yeah, I was gonna say. but I haven't yet. <laughs> well, I'm also kind of intimidated by one of my teachers. I mean, he's really he's really cool. Don't get me wrong; he's really funny, and he's he all of my almost okay almost all of my professors this semester are really good at like getting you interested and excited about the class like my english teacher so funny like probably one of the funniest te- like teachers i've ever met and like so i didn't even want to look at my phone yeah like in his class i get you yeah because uh in my audio class uh it, it's so funny um <laughs> 
But, yeah, like, be, I mean, I was on my phone, but that was just because um, we're apparently very good at uh, sidetracking my uh, audio professor. So he's like, he's like, come on, guys. He's like, we got to stay on task here. We're trying to get through this syllabus, trying to tell you everything that this class is going to, that everything's going to happen in this class. <clears throat> and he's like, come on, guys. And then he once we would start talking about something, he's like, oh, I got to say something, too. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, so it, it's great. Yeah, you know, my English teacher, when he's, f he avoided for the longest amount of time he possibly could f before he lo was like, let's look at the syllabus, because he just doesn't want to. He was like, it's so boring. I just don't want to, but I have to. So here we go. <laughs> and like, yeah, all of my classes, I mean, I don't, I mean, my math class doesn't have a fair chance just because I'm not into math. Like, I'm just, right. so it's bound to that I, I have to have a least favorite class and it, obviously it's going to be math <laughs> I, I still feel like you're like I have to you do like I, I mean, mean right now I mean I no don't matter think what I have a least favorite just because I don't mind math because I'm not bad at it I don't mind English it has like a technical focus this semester and I take media classes which is my degree so but no matter what you have a least favorite it, j the okay, word true. the words make it sound worse than it is you could really like the class, but you can still like all your other classes more, more. than it. And so, so it automatically yeah. makes it least. Yeah. yeah, so you no matter what, you have a least favorite. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been to math once, and I just, I, I'm not a math person. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, it's not, not my thing. But um, I feel. I'm profusely tired because this semester I decided it was the greatest idea to take a 9 a.m. class. Well, when, okay. Now, 9 a.m. class probably doesn't sound bad to some <laughs> people, because some people probably take earlier classes. But keep in mind, we are both very nocturnal and <laughs> very, like, sleep. Insomniacs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so so we don't really get much sleep when we try to sleep, let alone when we have to wake up. You know, like, earlier. what were we getting up? What, like, what time were last we getting semester, up last semester? Last semester, the earliest we had to be here was 11. So, yeah. uh... So what so we were getting like we were leaving our house at ten. Or yeah, and now a little early. like on I wake up at like seven thirty. Right now, and I'm like, I want It's quite a difference. <laughs> like I do not want to do this, <laughs> but I mean, for the first time in my entire school career, I have actively and been enjoying school. Yeah, I love like, how we had a conversation yesterday, and she was like, "I'm actually really sad to be leaving school today." Yeah, and literally then, Monday, I was like. Sitting, like, obviously Monday was the first day and back, and that was the first 9 a.m. class. And believe me, I didn't want to get up, but when I was there, when I got into my last class of the day, I was sitting there, I was, like, sad. I was like, I don't want to go home yet. Like, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> I wanna, I, and I then... go to school. Yeah, and then I was sitting there and thinking, I was like, but wait, I get to go tomorrow. How awesome. And I've never... I promise you, in my whole life, oh, yeah. I've never thought that. Like, high school was traumatic okay, for to, me to hated be, high school to be fair high, if high school isn't traumatic for you then you're lucky what, you yeah, are like, like what you are the chosen high school were you like <sighs> were you in because i've been in three high schools so i went to south for a couple of years then i went to alabama for the rest of 10th grade which was from about February until the end of the year. And then, uh, and then I did ECOT and you also, finished. Yeah, four. You went to Madison for a short Oh, second. I did. I did. And then I dropped out. And then I went to ECOT. Yeah, we've had a lot <laughs> of moving around in our lives. <laughs> I, needless to say, we've been to like 15 different schools around, across from like, oh, yeah. across from like kindergarten to now. Like we've been around. Oh, like, including like. Because I think I went to preschool. I remember because I went in Orwell and then switched schools every year pretty much up until fifth grade. And then from fifth grade, which it, it wasn't switching school systems, but it was still switching, switching schools because you need to, you know, eventually. Going from elementary school to middle yeah, school? Yeah, elementary to middle, middle to high school, you know. So I went from... Uh, like, I was in, you know, Willoughby from 5th grade until 10th grade when we left. 
Then we came back here after Alabama and, you know, from then on. Yeah. And now I'm here. <laughs> we, we've lived all around. We've lived in most of the n- northeast Ohio cities in this general region. <laughs> right. We, so, like, <laughs> Cleveland, Euclid, Orwell, Madison, Willoughby, Eastlake, all Bristol. those. I don't know. Wait, do we live in Bristol? No, no we, we live. Didn't. We live near Bristol. Yeah. And then we lived in Alabama and Oklahoma, Oklahoma. and Texas. Right. For, <laughs> Texas, grant you, it was for a week. Uh, like a week but, or two. But uh, yeah. we were still there. And uh, yeah, we've been around. We've, we've been, been around. <laughs> so I don't know what brought us to that topic, but I was trying to lead back to what we were saying and I don't remember. So <laughs> change of subject. <laughs> um I th- it was just on like the tip of my tongue a second ago. I was like, right when you said, "Oh, I remembered what we were talking about," but it had s- oh the uh, tra- traumatic high school experience. Oh yeah. yeah. If you didn't have like some sort of <laughs> do you, if you don't currently have traumas from from high, high school, school, I think <laughs> you are just blessed. Honestly, <laughs> like you're living a good life. I actually, I don't, I have no idea, but like. I think most of, like, my school-related quote-unquote traumas mm-hmm. were definitely in at least middle school and high school. Oh, yeah. I, uh, without saying anything more than I need to, I ended up being in a class with one of my sixth-grade bullies in uh, this semester, <laughs> which is, I think it's just hilarious. I don't, yeah. I obviously don't care anymore, but I think it's so funny. Like, seeing people that I know is very odd. I know, obviously, Lakeland like is very... It's a community college, so everyone from around here that... I, it's obviously that I would know some people from right. around here and notice people that I do know. But, but it's uh, also, like... Odd. Yeah. Well, for you, I feel like it's different because you just graduated out of high school, you know? So, like, the people you went to school with are most likely mm-hmm. also graduating or close. Whereas me, I've been out of high school now for, I graduated, okay, well, I've been out of, like, a physical high school for quite a few years, but in terms of, because I did ECOT, but ECOT obviously was at home, and I did everything, like, pretty much all at once, so I did two grades worth of stuff in one year. You've been out of a physical high school for like five years, cause you. Oh, yeah, five. It or was in 2013, I believe. Yeah, because, uh, no, no, no. It'd have been 2000, maybe early 2015, or no, 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 um, early 2014, cause I did take a year after the whole thing at Madison happened, because. That's what I was saying, cause yeah. all that happened. That when happened, I was in and, grade, then, and that was in 2013, well, and 14. It was both. Well, I was going to say, because that happened, and then dropped out, whatever. Took, like, a year, pretty much. And then decided, okay, I'm going to get my diploma. Got it, whatever, but... Anyway. We could make it birthday-related. I don't know how. <laughs> um, 23 things I've learned in 23 years. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, I would, like, if I were to do that, I would need to sit down and really think about it. Mm-hmm. Like, I could not just name off... Like, well, I mean, it's not like uh, 23 significant things I've learned. <laughs> just, I learned oh, how to do... I learned how to walk. A while and, ago. <laughs> again, in 23 years. Well, there's a YouTuber. Uh, I don't know how much of a YouTuber she is anymore. But Alexis G. Zoll, she, for a few years in a row, did like her from 17 to like 19 that I saw so far. Uh, she did 17 things I learned in 2000, or in 17 years like Mm -hmm. she would do it like a little bit after her birthday or something along the lines of that and uh like one of them was her coming out video when Mm -hmm. she was like i learned i like girls and i was like (laughs) oh lit (laughs) lit uh well uh what classes are you in this semester i am in okay so i'm taking five altogether how many credits 12 12 credits um i'm taking audio two um okay audio two multimedia history of business and media math and english 
Yeah. And English has, like, a technical focus, so it's more actually related to my degree. Yeah. I am uh, for at 14 credits, and I, I don't... Because you were taking 16? No. I How was many t- credits were I you? I was at 15 before. I was going to take a piano class and a voice class this semester, but I couldn't afford to do both, so I chose just to do piano this semester. Uh, so it dropped me down to 14 credits, but... Uh, so I'm in a piano class... Uh, because adamant to what I'm trying to do as a music career outside of college, you need right. to know how to play an instrument to do that. And I know the very basics of ukulele and even less than that on the baritone ukulele mm-hmm. and then a little bit more than both of those. I can play some chords on the piano <laughs> and I can play like three chords on the guitar. None of that's enough. <laughs> so right. I'm just going to set a focus on one instrument and learn which that. Is, which is good, especially a piano. Yeah. Because piano is very versatile. Yeah, I do wish that... And I, also piano lets you learn both, uh, uh, tr- like, clefts. Yeah. It, I think piano is one of the best ones to start out learning, but... Oh, it, it's the... It's for the I think it's... I think... Sorry to interrupt you. I think it's the best one to have under your belt as a, like, a musician. I... I wouldn't say that I think guitar is because it's the guitar has a lot of like it's first of all just a really good instrument to know and you uh get uh it's portable right and most pianos are not portable like say because I've done street performing before say you want to do street performing you can't really do that with a piano unless you can get a wireless well uh, yeah. well in terms of performing yeah but not like a musician isn't completely about performing you know like if you're like a musician that wants to record albums then you know having multiple things but typically if like if you're like a solo person most likely if you go into a studio you know you hire other people or if you have a backup band or like something like that where you hire people who are proficient in a certain instrument like you know, say if you are doing a song and you need a trumpet track or a piano track or anything, you know, guitar track, and you don't know that, then you hire that person to do it for you. And then obviously, like, add it in, you whatever. Obviously, I'm, I'm an audio production major, so this is my area. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I... Obviously, I'm a current currently soloing it out, but uh, super down to not do that. Like oh, I, yeah. I would be super. I mean, I really enjoy performing alone, but I've never I've performed it with a choir, but I've never performed with like a band. I Actually, I that, technically have. That would be okay because <laughs> my my oldest sibling. Sorry, uh, my oldest sibling tagged us both mm-hmm. in a in a video. Of a girl singing and her parents are like awing over her like fa- like her singing, and <laughs> my sibling was like me and Jax at Kenzie and I'm like this is so accurate it's so <laughs> funny. We well, I well to re- to finish what I was saying before, uh, if you like music and know how to play instruments and maybe want to be in a band with me, hit me up because. <laughs> I need to pursue music more than I am because it's depressing how much I'm not. So, yeah. <laughs> Literally, I'm writing a, a paper for English right now. It's like a s- short little introduction. And m- the first paragraph is literally me being like, if I'm honest right now, I'm going like I'm going through what would be considered a midlife crisis. But the fact that I'm 19 makes that a little suspicious. So, and I think my lack of music has a lot to do with that. So Your musical sadness. Or yeah. What you call I, it? I said, that, I don't remember who. I, oh yeah. Your I was, year of musical sadness. Yeah. I was talking to, I, I'm the type that I will talk someone's ear off. I, it sucks, Me too. but I will talk someone's ear off. Even if I barely know them, like I'll do it to like a grocery store clerk or mm-hmm. something like that. And I did it to a receptionist at, I don't remember where it was, but uh, it was. But I was just talking to her, and she's super nice. But um, mm-hmm. I was saying how I was do. I was like a singer, and we were talking about just uh, 
a bunch of stuff and I said well in this last year I was like I've been very I couldn't think of a better word to do it but I was like I've been very musically sad this year and I was like <laughs> and she, I just I love that so much I want that as like a quote <laughs> I'm like a, Kenzie, quote me on it <laughs> Kenzie 28 or Kenzie about 2018 <laughs> This is a, I was very musically sad this year. I don't even think I was musically sad the whole year. I was musically sad after I graduated because yeah. I was in I three think different it, choirs rehearsing I think even three like, times a day, five times a week. Like, I mean, obviously, we didn't, like, have a show around a time where a lot of people were, like, listening. But, <clears throat> like, in the beginning of the semester... Kind of through the whole semester, you were, like, musically sad. Mm -hmm. Like, you were singing, like, on the show. But in terms of, like, seeing, like, even how you talked about it, you're like, I'm really sad. <laughs> yeah, basically. Because I've been trying to... I'm trying to get myself in a better state of mind to focus on music. Which a lot of people use their bad states of mind to help with music, but... I, um, I wouldn't say to help. I think it, it helps in terms of sometimes songwriting. Yeah. But if it's a bad state of mind in general, I don't think you can do much of anything. Well, some people can, a, but, like, I like, can't. Like, if you, well, well, like, because what I'm thinking here <coughs> is what you, like, saying by bad state of mind or what it can be construed as is, like, very pessimistic about it. But you can't, like, make a song... And be pessimistic and be like, oh, this song is never going to go anywhere. It sucks. Because well, then yeah. you're not going to like... That's not what I mean. I'm not saying pessimistic. I was like, just general depression that I already yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. It, like, I don't think I'm a generally pessimistic person. Like, no, never. No, no, not you specifically. How you brought up how other people can use their bad state of mind. Well, I don't think that, you know, people can be like, oh, this song's not going to go anywhere. And then release it. You know, because I don't think they'd be, like, comfortable. Well, I don't think people... Like, people, musicians and songwriters, they do use their bad times to help them. Yeah. But they don't... They don't... They're not pessimistic about that. They're... They're mute... Like, most musicians... Well, all musicians, most likely, their music is their passion. And mm -hmm. even me, like, when I'm writing... If I'm trying to write a song and it's sad, I'm not sitting there like, oh, this isn't... I'm in a bad mood and I'm writing this. It's not, but in that bad mood, I'm not sitting there like this isn't going to go anywhere. My bad mood doesn't have anything to do with how the song is or right. how I feel about the song. It is my thoughts into the song. It's, it's, yeah. I feel like it's, so I feel like a person, that's why I think obviously differing opinions, but uh, that's why I think the wording I'm using feels right to me where I think people do use their bad states of mind. No, no, to no, no, no. Because that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like, cause you can have a bad state of mind that brings you this like revolutionary song. But I mean like with, with how you said it is all I'm saying. I, I got exactly what you meant. I'm just saying for anyone who, who may have misconstrued it as like, Oh, like you can't have a bad state of mind. 24 7 and be successful with music is what i mean whereas like because that with a bad state of mind that's around an event that can bring something great out of it then yeah but not like a bad state of mind in general you well know what I mean? yeah i get what you mean because there's uh an <laughs> album uh five seconds of summer's most recent uh, recent album like i listen to it a lot and that originally it was just because I really I've always liked Five Seconds of Summer and their new album came out so I was like I'm gonna listen to it, but I listen to it a lot. Like Ask Jax, I listen to this album like oh, yeah. very frequently. Most <laughs> when we were at when we're going to school like every day I play like the entire album on the way here because we have a decent lo decent drive to get here. Uh, but it every song on that album. Well, first of all, they they all said that this is the album they're most proud of since they've been... To be in, fair, this, the album is pretty good. Yeah, but every song on it, you can you can tell how what event they wrote that about. Because a couple of them were very uh, public about a re like their relationship and said and that said relationship ended, mm -hmm. and you could see and hear 
the emotion and the wordings that they use to uh, use in the songs. Right. And it, like, I was just listening, like, I thought about that because I was thinking about it today when I was listening to it. Just, if you really sit and listen to lyrics of a song, like... That's Obviously, like, people d- do listen to the lyrics of songs, but I don't think people, like, me personally, because I am a musician, mm-hmm. I usually, if I'm listening to a song more than once, I'm listening to the words. I feel like anybody that doesn't have a passion for music won't listen to lyrics. Like, like our like, dad, he always does not know the lyrics to any songs. Even if it's, like, the most popular like, song I, that he's known his whole life, he does not know the words to it. Right. Like, but for me... I, like, I get, so it's so funny, my mom, if I'm ever in the car with her, and we're actually listening to the radio, she always, like, makes fun of me, because I can start humming the intro to the song that's, like, that's playing, or start singing it, and she's like, how do you know every song? I'm like, I'm, like, more musically inclined, and I learn lyrics better than I learn most other things. Same. Like... Like, I can learn I can, the lyrics of a song. I can recite, like, Easy. every One Direction lyric ever, but, like, remembering, okay, but, like, a math equation? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, in terms of remembering stuff, I cannot do it on the spot. Like, if, so if Kenzie was to be like, okay, uh, you and I by One Direction or something, well, that one, I, I don't even think, I don't know if I could start it. But I could at least sing the chorus, or like. Sing it out. I that uh, that's where I come in. Yeah, I, I was gonna say she can do that. I cannot. So, <laughs> m- most of the time, if someone just says a word, like a random word, I can a song will pop in my head and I can sing a song with that word, almost immediately. Yeah. Like that, I've always been like that, and that's something I like pride myself on because I really like that I can do that, and that four. just shows, huh? Four. That's the word. Sorry, like, I did four f o r f o u r f o u r like the the number. Oh no, you're making me say. <laughs> What's on? <laughs> hang on. My mind's on One Direction. Uh, anyway, finish what you were saying. I was what was I saying? Talking about the priding yourself on being able to do <laughs> Yeah, most of the time I can do that. If, I didn't mean to embarrass you. <laughs> well, it's fine. Oh well. But uh, I'm really trying to think of it still. I'm trying to think of I don't. Do you know a song with the number four in it? Just four? Oh, uh. Like, a song with a letter, like... If I would have said five, I could have said five o'clock. Like, five o'clock in the morning. It's five oh. o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Oh. But, um, four. Now, okay. I know that we got sidetracked, but now I brought it up and we kind of want to... Hold on. Four. Like, there if has it's to F-O-R, be a no- I can think of a ton. No, but, like... Back for you, back for you. <laughs> Um. So let me see. An, uh, any song in the history of music that has the word for. I'm I, obviously there's definitely one. Right. I mean, but like, wait. You can't count on me like huh? one, two, three, and I'll be there. And I can't count on you like four, <laughs> three, two. Yes, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I mean, okay. So picking it out in the middle of a song is easy. But like, cause you, I if mean, you, you give do me it like too a, as well. If you give but. me like a song title, most of the time, like that too, I can. If I know the song, I could probably sing it. Uh, please. Just a word. That's the word. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were doing a title. Please wait. Well, I mean, there might be a song name. Please. <laughs> I mean, there probably is. Wait. What about that? picture? Uh, I thought a photograph. Put the little bit of photograph. Uh, uh, I mean, but I was thinking of the the. Kid Rock one. Oh, oh, wait. Don't use my hotel. The yeah. good every night at the motel. Uh, now, now we can, now we just play a game really quick because I kind of want to do it. Um, okay. What about? I'm trying to think of song titles. Okay, uh, so we're doing song titles, not just words. We probably be both, but let uh, me know which one because <laughs> gets confusing. Or how about? Okay. This one will be extremely easy, but it can be difficult as well. I'll name an artist. I'm just any, any any song, song. Okay. yeah. Uh, Metro Station. Uh, 
Where we go now? This feeling's turning me over. Is that? Girl, if she does it like this, will you do yeah, it like? Yeah. Is that Metro Station? Yeah. I don't remember what that's called. Shake it. Shake, shake, shake it, yeah. Shake, 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 shake it. Oh my god, that's a throwback. That's a dude. banger, though. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. Because she's really good at this. I. <laughs> Kenzie could probably name a whole song title, like artist, everything, and I probably still couldn't be able to, like, come up with the first line. <laughs> Like, try. First line's harder than just, like, if you... if Most songs have the, like, that's in the chorus, usually the title of it is in the chorus. Yeah. So it's easier, like, it, okay, you and I. I could probably... Yeah, the... Uh, like, that one, it's... Right. You and I is easier than being, like, I figured it out. <laughs> like, it's easier. True. Um, you try. Quiz me once, and then we'll like, see if I can do it. song, artist... So, whatever you want. Song, like, preferably a song title, because, um... I am I'm not super it's not, think? it's not super like This one's probably easy. Uh Death of a Bachelor. Panic at the Disco. Let me try to think of the first line. I have uh, it already. <laughs> uh-huh. I have it. It's really low. <laughs> Hang on, it's there. It's <laughs> there. I'm gonna hum it. What yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't do the windows. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. It's, it's there. <laughs> People have told me. No, that's not the beginning. Oh, no. That's like, that's is that the like second, second line. verse. Second line. Second line. Do I look lonely? No. I s- oh, yeah. That it might be the second verse. For a second verse, yeah. I've okay. Seen the shadows Let me think. Okay. People have told. It's a third line. <laughs> okay. Um,. That song's super low at the beginning, and then it gets really high. Okay, what about My Chemical Romance? You know what ones I know. You know more than I do, because you were a fan of them longer than I was, so don't go off an album that I don't know. (laughs) My mouth (laughs) went into noise. Okay, Teenagers. The beginning? Well, obviously you can't swear. Okay. (laughs) I mean... What is the, is Hang on, is, is the beginning of teenagers? Does it start like with teenagers? No. <laughs> I should look up the lyrics as I say this, just because you'll probably get it, but I even I don't remember. Wait. <laughs> That's a, oh, that's also, the this is how verse, this is how Kenzie works through stuff, and it's always great. <laughs> She's I like, think Wait. that's the second verse. <laughs> the boys and girls in the clicks. Yeah, that would be the first line, though. I think it's the second verse, but I think the same rhythm. Uh, no, it's not. Definitely not. It is the same rhythm, it like is? that okay. that um beat. Yeah. Uh, it's they're gonna clean up your looks. With all the lies in the books. That's off. Wait. To, yeah, no, you're right. I was singing it wrong, but I know. To make a citizen now. Oh, yeah. Of you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Give uh, me a different song. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. You know, maybe I'll just look up popular song titles. Because, um. I have a Panic at the Disco song stuck in my head, but it's like the most inappropriate Panic at the Disco song. <laughs> it says top par- top pop chart song of the Billboard. So let's see. <clears throat> high hopes, Panic at the Disco. I think it literally starts. You gotta have high high hopes for the living. Shoot it for the stars, but I'm not making it. I'm not making it. I'm not making it. Well, the be- in the song song. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama said. Wait, you gotta you feel the prophecy. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Next, Ariana Grande. Thought I'd end up with Sean, but it wasn't a match. With some songs about Ricky. Also. No, I just listened and I got her to sing. Even almost got married. If a beat, I'm so thankful. Wish I could say thank you to Malcolm. 
Because he, he was, was an angel. Okay. Uh, without me, Halsey. That's my literal. That's like right now. I should know I think that. It's my top, like one of my top favorite songs. I should know that, but like, no offense, but Halsey's voice has been irritating me recently. I think it's just because that song plays over and over and over and over and over again. But oh, do you know "Breathe In" by Ariana Grande? Uh, not the beginning of it, but I know it. Just, just keep breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing. <laughs> Okay, happier marshmallow. Oh, I know this too, and I. <laughs> I know you know it because I love it and it plays a lot. I was literally singing this earlier in my head. Just so you know, if you ever just see me chilling, most likely I'm singing a song in my head. Like there's always a song playing. Or in my out head. loud, ever. Like here, she, not usually. I mean, she will if there's an if there's an empty hallway <laughs> and you see her or me or both of us standing in there. She was probably singing five seconds before and then looks at me as someone walks mm-hmm. in. And she's like, no. Yeah, I, it, it's really it would be really awkward. Like imagine I'm sitting there singing and then you just walk in. That'd be awkward, right? I feel oh. like that'd be awkward. But uh, yeah, I don't I, think it'd be awkward at all. I actually think. If I, like, walked up to someone and they were singing and it was, like, night, like, it was, like, because they were singing because it's good acoustic. Well, then again, you know, I'm an audio nerd, <laughs> but good acoustics, whatever, I would If my it. voice echoes in a hallway, I'm probably singing in it, <laughs> just so you know. Okay, what about East Side, Benny, Bianco? Absolutely not. No idea. I, you know it, but I, it's just, uh. Most of the top songs, I do know them, but I don't know them well. Right, right. Uh. This one, I'm not sure. Beautiful by Bozzy. Uh, Sunflower, Post Malone. I don't know that one. Me either. I could uh, sing a couple other Post Malone songs. <laughs> Young Blood. Wait. Remember the words you told me, love me till the day I die. I, am I mm-hmm. doing the beginning or just any part? <laughs> uh, it's up to you. <laughs> do you Ooh. want me? Do you want me? I did that on my... Uh, very very barely ever like once in a good couple months instagram that i post a random video of me singing did i miss it when did you post that did i actually post it on there i don't know it might just be in my phone let me check uh also love lies by Khaled. i actually listened to this song like 12 times today yeah. i don't know the beginning of it Place a dance for the night. Better now, Post Malone. You probably think that you are better now. Better now. You only say that because I'm not around. Close to me, Ellie Golding. I don't think I know that one. I don't think I know that one either. Uh, girls Like You, Maroon 5. Uh, hang on. Because <laughs> girls like you, the father do. No, it's run, it's run around with guys <laughs> like me. me. Alright, um. I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sicko mode, Travis Scott. I know that's really popular, but I do not know it. Uh, this feeling, the Chainsmokers. Uh, this feeling. Look up the lyrics of that, cause I feel like I know that, but I don't know the words to it. Mm, let me see if I can. <coughs> Doesn't. Mm, doesn't let me. Uh, we'll just get past it. About consequences, I'm assuming by Camila Cabello. No, don't know that one either. <laughs> Try going off of the top song. Off the list. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> Let's see, best 2018 pop songs. Let's see if these are actually the best pop songs. Um, let's see. Uh, so apparently first one is No Tears Left to Cry, Ariana Grande. Uh, I don't know the beginning of it, but... Got no tears up to cry, so I'm singing it up, picking it up, loving I'm living, I'm picking it up, <laughs> picking it up, picking, picking it, it up. <laughs> uh, in my blood, Sean oh. Mendes. I was trying to think of the beginning of it, but 
It isn't in my blood. Oh, God, my voice is flat. No, Sorry. flat. Sorry to everyone that has to do Okay, we already just did Girls Like You back to you, Selena Gomez. Also, I'm going to start just saying the song title and see if you can guess the artist from the... I know I know this, but I don't know the words right now. I can't remember either. Uh, to you. God is a woman. Who sings it? Ariana Grande. Uh-uh. You, you love it how I move you. love it how I touch you, my one. When all is said and done, you believe God is a woman. I-D-G-A-F. By, is it by? No. What? No, it's not. LMFAO. It's a no. It's a um. Is it the Chainsmokers? Mm, I don't know how to pronounce her name. It's like Dua. Lipa. Oh, Dua Lipa. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Um, I know. Another, I know. No new rules. Yeah, that like. Mm. I know quite a few from that artist, and it's actually. One to pick up the phone, you know he's on the guy like is he drunk and alone to Uh Friends Marshmallow. No, don't know that one. It's the it's the song I was talking about, the Friend Zone song. I don't know the words to it. I've heard of it. I've saw you play it, but I don't oh. know no um, Finesse. Dripping in finesse. You know it, you know it. <laughs> Isn't wait. That's by uh Bruno Mars and uh, Cardi B. Yes. Uh, God's plan. Oh my God. Who's it by? I know it's Drake, but uh, why can't I remember? Hang on. God's plan. God's, God's plan. plan. <laughs> I feel good sometimes. I don't. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Me most of the time. Uh, I'm a mess. Who who sings that? Ed. No. I was about to say, that was not in the top songs last year. So I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I'm a mess. By Wait. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the name, but it's... Is it BB? BB... Oh, BB Rexa? Yeah. I, um, I know I know that, <coughs> but I don't know it, know it. Uh, okay, what about... Also... A thing I want to do on future uh, shows, which we might we could start, what? is go through song lyrics, like talk them, and be, like kind of analyze, analyze almost. We should do that with some five sauce songs. So okay, we can do that now. I'll just pick, pick a random new album. Let's say I'll pick a random one. Let me. Because obviously, as you could tell, our show is going to be a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty music oriented. As we don't play any music. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so let's see. Five sauce songs with lyrics. Five S-O-S. Just to anger any old school Five Seconds of Summer fans real quick. (laughs) Let's see. Okay, we'll do... Let's see the new new album. Uh, I'm gonna say the first line. See if you can guess which song I picked. They would yell. They would scream. They were fighting it this out. This is the new album. Is that, that not? No. Broken home. Yeah, I know. Th- I knew the song, but oh, it's there the new it is. Album. Okay, yeah, I would just didn't scroll down far the enough. New albums is the meet you there. <clears throat> yeah. I thought we had a place, just our place, our home base, Wait. my headspace. Hang on. We had a place, just our place, our home base, my headspace. Hang on, I gotta remember the song. Wait. I thought we had a place, just our place, our home base, my headspace. Oh, hang on. It's the one that you played a lot last semester. Ghost of You. No. Is it not? Isn't it the... So I drew... No, it's not. It's Babylon. Oh, I literally was just thinking about that song, too. <laughs> All right, so, first line I just said. I thought we had a place, just our place, our home base, my headspace. So, obviously, 
You know, that's <laughs> what you're like <laughs> summon. I love this album. Yeah. Uh, well, we would do stands at a time. Okay. Was you and I always, but that phase has been phased in our place. I see it in your face, a small trace, a blank slate. We've been erased. <laughs> she can like sing along with me as I say it. But if we're but if we're way too faded to drive, you can stay one more night. You said we both have Uh that song I think is it's definitely a, it's a about testament to a relationship that they were in. One of well, the whole song is basically saying by Callum, so I'm assuming Callum's relationship. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> but I think he's referring to like the place they were together that they felt he felt they were safe in that space, and mm-hmm. uh, they weren't. Yeah, and uh, figures out he kind of like feels that yeah. they're in different places, and we've been erased, you know. So- like, he, he says that he sees it on their face, a small trace, a blank slate, we've been erased. Yeah. I think it's so like someone, seeing someone get so, over you yeah. when you're still into them. Rip. That's the worst. <laughs> Rough. And then it goes into the chorus. And we said we, we both. both have had it there well, let me. I can. We, could go. <laughs> we said we both love harder than we knew we could go, but still the hardest part is knowing when to let go. You wanted to go higher, higher, higher. Burn too bright. Now the fire is gone. Watch it all fall down. Babylon. Yeah, I think the whole basis of this song is that just he's that in a rela- Watching someone, yeah. yeah, not love you anymore. Falling out of love, basically. One Feel side falling doing. out of love, basically, and then realizing that you have to follow. And you that- have to also fall out of love with them. Yeah. Okay, so this one, I think you'll know what well, actually... I'm going to do a different one because you knew what that one was. There's actually quite a few of these that either I have heard and didn't know the name of or haven't heard at all. What ones? Uh, most of them. Say a title. and I'll, like say, Honestly, with this album, you could probably say any title and I'll be able to sing part of it at least. Oh, uh, you want me to just list it? Just do one at a time and I'll like... Yeah, listing it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no. uh, Young Blood, you already did. Uh. Want You Back. Mm. I saw you looking brand new overnight. No, is that? No, it's not. Um, I'm trying to see. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, that is... Well, Want You Back is their single. Of course, that would be the one that I don't get. <laughs> Man. <sighs> so you want me out of your life? Cause I'm just a dead man walking tonight. Cause I need it, yeah, I need no. it. No. Uh, is that not? You're singing Young Blood. Oh my god, okay. Just ignore me. Go past that one. I don't know what's happening. I'm <laughs> so sad. For the first line of that one is can't help but wondering if this is the last time I'll ever can't see your face. Can't help but wondering if this is the last time that I'll see your face. Why couldn't I <laughs> remember that? Yes, this one's uh, Valentine. I, I think what I sang the first time might have been Valentine. Hang on. Well... Valentine. Hang on, I gotta remember more lyrics than just that. Uh, this is one of my favorites. What? I'm, I'm trying to give you a hint. I love the light in your eyes and the dark in your heart. I think that's the song I was singing. You, a permanent trace in the bite of a bark. We know we're classic together like Egyptian gold. We love us it don't matter be combative or be sweet cherry pie it don't matter it's uh, it's funny watching her like list like say the lyrics (laughs) as i'm like reading them i Uh, can lie to me oh that's a good one i saw you looking brand new overnight i caught you looking too but you didn't moving along hang on you look happy Oh, so you see what I have to deal with? She doesn't let me ever finish. Like, don't ever let me continue until she finishes her part of the song. It's good. Move along. Moving is, along. Is one of the ones that I know it, but I don't know it at the same time. Like, there's a few on there that I, like, Monster Among Us. I don't know that one super well. Uh, Thinking about you lots lately. Is that Move Along? 
Yeah. Oh, I do know that one very well. Think about you lots lately. Have you been eating breakfast alone like me? Think about you lots, baby. Right. Uh, talk fast. Talk fast. Romance. Won't last. I'm okay with that. Oh, move fast. Let's oh, burn oh. crash romance. Something like that. <laughs> yes, that is what that is. Uh, if walls could talk. If these walls could talk. Wait, hang on. If these walls could talk, I hope they wouldn't say anything. Cause I've seen a way too many things. We fall from grace, we're falling. Uh, we fall better from man. Grace. I love this song. At first, I hated this song. I love how she says, I love this song every time. Also, we have about 10 minutes left. This album is a banger. Like the whole album. <laughs> I, just, I, I just love how every <laughs> time you're like, I love this song. With your love. <laughs> Your love, I'm a better, better man. With your love, your love. I didn't love, even know that's what it said. You, I'm a better, better man. Yeah, I didn't even know oh, that it said better man. Let me uh, me. more. I don't remember the beginning of this one or any of it actually. I know, I know it. If me and you are living in the sa- same place. If me and you are living in the same place. Why do we feel alone? Feel alone. <laughs> Uh, a house that's full of everything. Why won't you love me? Why <laughs> won't you love me? She transitioned perfectly. <laughs> Why <laughs> won't you love me? Woke up in Japan. I woke up in Japan. Let's just try to keep this roll and see <laughs> if you can... Feeling low, feeling lonely. Ooh, low. Uh, the best I ever had. Empty wallets. Oh, hang on. This is one I also don't know super well. It's also one that I didn't think I liked at the beginning. Uh, s- I know the beginning of it. It's like, stop digging in your pocket. Uh, stop digging, digging in, in, your po- in your heart because tonight, tonight is, is on, on me. me. Tonight is on me. And it's basically they like saying... Empty wallets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. dance on empty wall. I can't remember the, how the rhythm of it goes, but... We're trying, to, we're trying to keep this going, okay? I know. I just don't know that one very well. Okay. <laughs> That's one of the ones that I don't know super well. Ghost of you. So I drown it out like I always do, dancing through our house with the ghost of Monster you. Monster Among Men. Yeah, that's one that I really don't know. Cut, What's the beginning that, of it? Well, is that that one that we just sang? Uh, Ghost of you? Yeah. Is that the one that you sang in that stairwell? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was. Oh, no, it was Broken Home. That one, too, but it... Oh, that stairwell? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's on the other album. Okay. Um, This says, Demons Hide Behind My Back. A, mon- a monster among men, I mean. Yeah, I don't and know. And I can't see them... That. And I can see them. One, two, three, four. I know it, but it's one of the ones... There's, like, f- three or four on the album that I'm just iffy on met you there meet you there what's the beginning of it (laughs) every moment spent i wish i was with you and every night i slept i dreamt i was with you i i hear in my head i can hear it but i cannot get it out uh what's the chorus i think it's you go your own way and i'll go mine and if we're meant to Oh, wait, no. I'll meet you there. Do, 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 do. And that, it says, this time or next time, you know I'll oh, meet you there. This time or next time, you know I'll meet you there. That's Michael. This time or next time. When you time, walk away. You know I'll meet you there. That's, a, that's not a title, right? It, yeah, it is. When you walk away, yeah. Cut me open, take my heart. So we'll never be apart. Don't let it go to waste. Hang on. <laughs> Oh, this one. Well, it is on the deluxe, it looks like. But I listen oh, to Target the... bonus track is what it says. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. I... Best friend. Also, don't know that one. That one's not on the playlist I listen to. That one's also on the Target bonus track. And this one's on the Japanese bonus track, Midnight. Don't know that one either. <laughs> okay, you could go off. Of, that's basically the yeah, whole say, album. You got some homework to do. Oh, yeah? I thought you meant literally. I'm like, yeah, I know why you got to put that out there. <laughs> Huh? 
I, I thought you meant literal homework, and that's why I was like, why you gotta put that out there? <laughs> oh. Like, I know. <laughs> no. Stop uh, yeah. Hard. We are we have me. seven minutes almost. Exactly what are we gonna do? Now. What are we gonna do for seven minutes? Mm-hmm. Sing me happy birthday. No, don't. Happy birthday to I, you. Okay, one thing that I do want you to do eventually in my lifetime is happy just happy birthday. Go to all out with happy birthday. Happy birthday. Birthday, dear Jackson. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> I love how you did the headphone <laughs> thing. You're like, <laughs> you. Oh my just God. Me just, of happy birthday. Just, it just segue right into that Christmas song. You and it just goes. I don't want to laugh for Christmas. Sorry, everyone. I know Christmas is well past. Oh no, that's great though. I want to edit that and make that a thing. You. Happy birthday to you. Let's see. Okay, that's great. Throw some. Who should you throw at me? I don't know. Who should I throw at you? Yeah, like song wise. <laughs> um could do some Nile. No son of him. Well actually I don't know him very well off just titles. But throw me some one direction. I know I could get that. Uh one direction Midnight Memories. <laughs> Straight off the plane to a new hotel. <laughs> Just touch down, you could never tell. <laughs> Big glass body with a crowded kitchen. People talk shh, but we don't listen. Tell me that I'm wrong, but I do what I please. Way too many people in the Addison League. Now I'm at the beach, but I know what I mean. Oh wow. Well. Midnight memories. Oh, 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 baby, you and me, stopping in the streets, singing, 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 singing. Midnight memories. I just want everyone to know that this is not how I sing normally. <laughs> My friends messaged me happy birthday. What Aww. good friends? What good friendos, man? Didn't know about that in high school. <laughs> Painfully accurate, uh, especially for you. <laughs> wow, ouch! <laughs> no, especially for your I, friends. I know, but you were like, especially for you. <laughs> ouch! Your your quote unquote friends. Mm. Hmm. Okay, awesome. anyway, we have okay four minutes, and we don't really have much else to talk about other than uh, we're here Wednesdays two to three. We are, and this I'm is also, on Lake Effect Radio, obviously. Also, we stream on Twitch. We can also soon, hopefully, start streaming on YouTube as well as Twitch. Yes, um, and hopefully in within the next couple of weeks, I'm going to try and start, quote-unquote, start a YouTube channel. So if you're interested in seeing content from me and probably Jack's, I'll find us there it's probably gonna also, be under my name we also didn't really introduce ourselves oh yeah hi we are the k j j and k, k, k show. show j being jacks k being kenzie and we were on the we, the uh, last semester was our first semester say, and we were on the radio and we kind of say, we tried us assuming quickly, that everyone knew that so trying to like very quickly <laughs> put it into like a little bubble yeah so yeah that's us and we are here now this semester going to be here every wednesday from two to three and possibly uh, mondays but it's we're mostly on that yeah cause it's most likely gonna be just wednesdays 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 is what i was gonna say <laughs> wednesdays wednesdays but um <laughs> oh my god can you imagine if people actually like it like it's actually pronounced wednesday right <laughs> But people, a- everybody think it thinks it's pronounced Wednesday, and they're like, "Oh, I have plans Wednesday." It, it kind of sounds like uh, Cass is gibberish. Oh, uh, the uh, like pig Latin, I think it's what it's called. I don't know. 
It's like, I had a guy, guy, got a guy, to go. It's really weird. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, anyway, it's odd. Anyway, we're okay. like getting sidetracked. And okay, we're yes, leaving. okay. So we are here. Wednesdays, Wednesdays two to three. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you could catch us on Twitch probably hopefully soon on youtube you could catch us outside of school hopefully on uh, on youtube hopefully soon yeah because i'm going to be buying a camera soon and forcing myself to pursue my music career Mm -hmm. because if i don't it's never gonna happen so (laughs) so so you will catch us there and next week hope that everyone starts having a phenomenal semester. semester yeah make the most out of college and don't and don't stress too much because I get it, last semester was awful. It was quite stressful. Just, 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 just deep breaths. <laughs> you know, get one of those apps that tells as, you when to breathe. And, as yeah. much as it is really easy to procrastinate, and a lot of people do it, including us, don't try your best not to, because if you get behind, that's when you get real stressed. Also, if you get it done, like, quickly after it's, um, like, assigned, and it's you like... You don't gotta worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, then it's like, you don't have to worry about it, and you could start actually doing fun stuff. Anyway, 59, yeah. we're we, going to head uh, out. Yeah, so we have been the J&K Show. On the Lake Effect Radio at Lakeland Community <laughs> College in Kirtland, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> and you will catch us next week at the same time, 2 to 3. And have Bye. a phenomenal day and the rest of your entire life. Goodbye. Goodbye.